What made this one different, what made this, the fact that we overbuilt houses is the sort of thing that happens in, in market economies all the time. What happened here was that uh, financial engineering took over and the financing of the housing bubble, of the housing boom, wasn't a bubble for a while. Financing, the financing of the housing boom took the form of uh, securitizing mortgages, of packaging mortgages, some good mortgages, some bad mortgages, uh, too many bad mortgages, but again, that's the run of that's the way the life life goes. But packaging them and then marketing them to other institutions, which bought them with borrowed money, with high leverage, so that uh, the, the the clear contrast, the contrast everyone wants to have in mind, is with olden times when I got the first mortgage that I ever got on a house. I got it from a local bank, and the local bank owned the mortgage and held the mortgage, and I made my payments, and and uh, and that was it. Here, with securitized mortgages and securitized auto loans and securitized college loans, and securitized all sorts of loans, the loans are marketed to people and institutions that don't understand them, that don't know what their content is, can't know what their content is, who then buy them with very high leverage, that is, a small amount of their own money and a lot of uh, borrowed money, so that if the securities go ever so slightly bad, the owner of the security can be wiped out, can have uh, use up his or her, or its, it's an institution after all, its equity, and then, uh, and after that, they're wiped out. The problem with that, even that, you know, is bearable in an economy. What happens further is that in our financial, in our overblown, enormous financial system, when I said that the owners, ultimate buyers of mortgage-backed securities or mortgage-backed security squared or whatever, they have, they have bought them on borrowed money. They have borrowed from other financial institutions, which in turn have borrowed from other financial institutions. So that when one leveraged financial institution has problems, so do its creditors, and so do the creditors of its creditors. And it's it's that aspect of the of the bubble, I think, that made converted what could have been a, a housing originated recession into a financial crash and uh, and a major a major recession. And what's what's interesting is how widespread this network of, uh, of obligations, of mutual obligations, was. There are banks in Paris uh, ran into trouble because American mortgage-backed securities went sour. Well, it's not so long ago that no bank in Paris ever owned a mortgage on a house in Oklahoma. Uh, and wouldn't know what to do with it if they had it, but but it's that degree of of uh, of of intertwined obligations, loan obligations, most of them with high leverage, that is, with very little own equity capital behind them, that made the whole thing so fragile.